Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes one through three of Wonder Egg Priority. I don't know what the heck this is about. Um, all I know is I, I saw a video on TikTok, but not it, it wasn't spoiler territory. Thank God. Um, it kind of piqued my entrance around like what week two when I was gonna watch it by myself. Um, and then I got a comment asking, you should really watch this. Like, I know the things that you like. You might like this. And I was like, oh, okay. Since, um, I dropped a show and one of my shows officially also ended on Friday. I was like, you know what, what the hell? I don't care. Um, let's go ahead and do it. But I don't know what to really expect with this. I, um, so yeah, let's just go. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Is this going to make me have like, mm, no, I don't think I'll have a panic attack, but mm, God, you know, it'd be really funny. We get all these carriages and we kill them in the second half. Why is this little girl in the street? It's a little girl, right? Oh? Oh. It's a firefly. Oh, damn. She got coyote eyes. It's pretty, though. Well, I mean, at least she's, like, helpful. She didn't have to do that. Oh, are you making... Oh! That's cute. Hmm? Mr. Firefly? Guys, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, reality. Well, you know what? As of now, no. <laughs> I don't like this reality. Oh, God. See? Mm -hmm. Do we need to pay money? You want me to go buy a Japanese iTunes card for 5,000 yen? Uh-uh. Fuck no. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Them last? Mm-mm. Hmm? See, I turn your ass around. Go back out. So she has to watch the egg now? Mm -mm. But see, hold up. We not sure. Okay. Okay, so you can't eat it. We not sure anything is in this thing. Does she have social anxiety? Mm. 
But this girl going out in the middle of the goddamn night. Mm-mm. And you probably not even gonna come back. Watch. Watch. Come on now. Hmm? Up. Oh, oops, somebody died. Excuse What the fuck? Uh, guys, what the hell am I watching? So something tells me she was bullied. Why though? Jeez. Oh. Okay, so what what the fuck is an egg? Let, let's you know Nope. Fuck no. Don't touch that. What the hell? Time out. Time out. Out of all the things a human? There's... Hmm? What the hell? Why? Um... Oh, hell no. Nah. She got fucking axe and... OH! Um, but what about your arm? Get up, get up, get the fuck up! Well, that's it. Don't just Ryan. Oh, my God, child. If she don't fucking hurry up, oh, my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, it, what the fuck? 
No. Because, of course, her cut's going to be real. Oh. This some death game ish. You know what? I'm okay with that. But why only you? But you always need friends. Mm. Yeah, but you seem very popular more than I. No. <laughs> Them things that... No, don't be sorry. No wonder if she's still alive. picture of her, isn't it? That a person. They're gonna jump, aren't they? It's pretty. No wonder what made her kill herself. It's sad, but... Why? What's...
No, they're not. They're pretty. You're only different because your eyes, and it makes you unique. She's not going to hit her head up against us like, okay. It seems like her anxiety is way up. Just because you're different. Mm -hmm. It suits you. I mean, well, that's a little forced, though, but okay. For a little while until That girl. Oh, there's no, oh my god. How are you going to get to her in time? What, what you going to do? This child just fucking super jump. What the fuck? Trippy? <laughs> but it's okay, I like it. <laughs> hmm? What in the fucking magical girl shit is this? Beautiful. <laughs> Why? 
Well, couldn't you? Wouldn't you want to be with her? Oh! Um, oh, got a nosebleed. Oh, oh, hey, hey. You know, Mr. Fly, I, I don't know. Shit. Well, at least you nan it softly. Hmm? Yeah. And of course, because that's a spoiler, ain't it? Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. So, first thoughts on this. I am a little confused on this. This seems very mental illness wise, which I am a little, I, well, not even a little, I am a lot interested because I don't know a lot on mental illness and issues like that because I haven't had like kind of the right people teach me and such. Um, it seems like our main character, I, because this was what I was kind of thinking. Right at the point when um, Kudami disappeared and just poof. Because I'm like, hold up, what the fuck? Because at first it makes you think that she's in like purgatory, but I still alive. 
and she's just taking all these spirits who are still on earth or like i said still purgatory and who still their bodies on earth but you know they're in between and they're trying to figure out if they want to go back to earth or eventually they need to find their way to move on now it doesn't seem like that i don't know where this show is going right now i mean this is only really the first episode and i got two more episodes to watch for uh, i'm done um it's not bad i think i will say one thing um eyes va is familiar to me i think i know who that is and if it is who i think it is this is gonna be a damn good show and she's gonna make it 100 percent better because it, it's really already good i is adorable she's like the cutest little thing ever i'm sad that you know she lost her friend it makes me wonder what the heck happened between these two because of course i said she was bullied for her eyes then what was her friend bully for why did her friend kill herself out of the blue what did her friend do or was it because because in the way i blames herself so it's maybe because um her friend got too close to her or um something maybe people were also bullying uh, her friend on the side saying you shouldn't be hanging out with her and saying this is that and the third and such i don't know i mean like what the fuck i i i <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, for what I just watched for a first episode, that was really good. But still, I'm like, what the hell did I just watch? Like, am I on some drugs? Like, it because honestly, okay, it, it does give me Death Game vibes. So like anything, Duncan Roba, um, King's Game ish like that, or even um, Alice in Borderland and stuff. Because it, it but the thing is like. She goes down a slide. Well, yeah, yeah. Go down a slide. So, yeah, right then and there, you're instantly in a fucking death game ish. So, I don't know. I mean, I liked it a lot. I, it's different. I think what this is like the original anime of this season, the only original anime of this season. So, of course, yeah. 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 I just, I got questions. <laughs> I got questions about what the heck I just watched. I think, honestly, um, and I can't do it after I'm done watching this because I got two other things to watch after I'm done watching all three of these. These and then plus Pretty Cure because it's now seven and I'm probably not going to be done till like ten maybe. Um, I might have to watch an explanation on this. So yeah, but it was a really good first damn episode. Makes you wonder like what the situation is about the girl um, who was like gathering all the freaking eggs and her deal because since we now know about i heck i wanted to know about kudami but because since she's now gone i'm guessing we're not going to get an explanation on her until somewhat later on but really who knows but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode two okay episode two and three two one go <laughs> That the girl from episode one? Yeah. She pretty. And I'm guessing you're not a talker, are you? You gotta love the fact that I am <laughs> so cute to make some small talk. Mm. Her best friend. And what about you?
you say that, but there's also a reason why you're here just as much, sir. Oh? Hold on. You, you can't start like that and say you let your sister die. Oh my god. See, as of right now, the only thing that I can truly relate with on I is the bullying. Because, of course, yeah, your girl was bullied when she was in elementary school. Just as much as anybody else. Almost, I think, what? Everybody in the world has gotten bullied. And then eventually either you become the bully, that never really happened with me because why I treat people with respect, but they always say, you know, usually the reason why people bully people is because they have problems at home and they don't want to, not only don't want to, they don't know how to address it to others. This show ain't gonna make me cry, is it? Like, God, we're only on week three. Technically, you know, week four by the time you guys see this. But Jesus. Hey, your teacher's still here? Oh, no, your doctor. Okay. Just. Mm. Yeah. Because it would be hard to explain. But you don't at least want to become friends with this shit. I mean. Native or native? Native? Native. It has to be native. Who's coming out this time? Oh, you're cute. So, what's your deal? Yeah, just come on.
The, the door. Mm -hmm. Do you do gymnastics? Mm -hmm. Which makes sense why you also have the ribbon. Please tell me you didn't die in a gymnastic accident like Final Destination 5. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause laziness. Wonder Killer. They're going to come. Ah, okay. That makes sense. So, what is your drama? Hey, uh, I. Of course, her coach. Mm. No, that's because she said that. Mm, God, let me not. Let me not. Yeah, because you know, some women can be complete and total bitches. Mm. 
course not. Set up. And so they're gonna what? Take it to the teacher or principal? Mm, she didn't get the video. See, her coach is one of them fucking coaches, and I have, oh god, the memories I'm getting about some of the coaches I hated when I played sports. Of course, I go on phaser. No, it's not your fault. Yeah, that's what she needs. Go come on, come on, you need to Oh, I don't want to hear that tough love bullshit. I've heard that way too many times. God, that's disgusting, but you know what? Honestly, cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, damn. Mm.
No, you're alone again. Excuse me. No, just to be with her. Okay. Sure. Well, hang out. Play games. Anything that a normal teenager does. And then when you're an adult, you can drink. But y'all need to do that yet. You can gossip. <clears throat> yeah. What's wrong? Aww. Okay, so I do have a question on this. And even though, like I said, by the time this comes out, we'll be four episodes in this show. But, you know, let's just say this. Let's say by week seven, eight, maybe. Okay, so let's say I, and we'll even say the final few episodes of this. So let's say I completes the job that she has to do. 
And she gets her friend back. Will she remember everything that she's done for the last, like, umpteen episodes, maybe? I don't know. I mean, because that's a little prediction. That could be something that might happen later on. I mean, I I honestly thought that the girl, Nedu, was it really going to be her friend? I thought it was going to take, they were going to stretch it out a little bit and be like, mm, she's going to be, like, a complete and total bitch to her the whole entire time because she's very, um... I don't, not antisocial. Maybe she's just because ever since she's lost her sister, she's been a loner. And she looks at other people and she's like, no, like there's a wall between me and you. I don't know. It just, from that little introduction we got from her, we'll be seeing episode one and episode two, maybe. But no, like she kind of really changed my expectation on her. She seems like a really nice girl. I would like to know still what the hell happened to her sister. And how she let her sister die i mean yeah um but going into minami's trauma and that it it was a fucking coach and of course it's gonna be a fucking coach because and i'm gonna say this as i said with the bullying all of us have had a coach a teacher um counselor parent maybe because I feel like if, if we're going into this there's going to be a parent in this show who is going to cause trauma um for their child if it's not the parent it could possibly be another family member I'm not 100% sure but the the way it's going it seems like we're going to get like a family matter up into it because of course um we've all possibly had a coach uh, that is very much tough love. I, I remember having, I had like, I had two. Technically three, but more two. Um, and this was when I played basketball between elementary school to like my first year of middle school. And I, oh God. <laughs> You know how um, when you are in a sport or anything and you know there's that star, child, people, whatever, who's really, really good and the um, coach, teacher, whatever, loves the crap out of them but hates the crap out of everyone else and tries so hard to make everybody else like that child or whatever, that's what I had. I was the one who hated my coaches and there was one time because see now now that I'm older I can say whatever the heck I want to say and still say sorry at the same time but I think when I was like 12 yeah 12 13 14 can't say the certain things that I, <laughs> that I can say now but um I'll just say this. I have a mouth on me. I didn't say anything rude. There was something that I wanted to do. Yes. Because this dude got on my nerves a lot. And um, I'm the type of person where it's like, okay, if you have a problem with me, come to me, talk to me, and, and let's kind of work it out. So, okay. I was on my way home with my parents. And, um... We were in the car and we were talking about practice and everything because, of course, like parents aren't going to be there initially like that. And <laughs> my both of my parents at the same time told me, oh, hey, your coach came up and said something to us about you. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, out of all the things, I ain't do anything wrong. What the fuck is going on now? And so they told me and Ooh, girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> you want to know who was peed. Peed old. Like, the next time she had to go to basketball practice, this chick. And I was even hella more pissed at him than I normally was in ish. I mean, as like a, a 12, 13, yeah, 12, 13 year old girl, I got so many things to worry about. There were so many things that I was in and having to worry about basketball was still one of them but I still had 
oobles of things to worry about when I was in middle school, between elementary school going into middle school. And he never once came up to me and said, let's talk it out and stuff. I would have been fine to sit there and say, okay, let me, because, uh, uh, you know, let me not yell, let me not get defensive, it's like that. Let me sit here and listen to you and then let me say what I got to say and then, you know, we figure out a solution from that. And so that's why I'm kind of very, mm, <laughs> still am, defensive on, like, <laughs> what happens because I hate, 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 hate. It is my biggest pet peeve out of any other pet peeves that I have. When people who have a problem with any situation, if it includes me, and drama and ish, you go to somebody else and you have that person tell me. I think that, like, because it also happened to me in freaking high school as well. I, I just, I think, if you want, like, woman to woman, woman to man, and you want to man up on that ish, be smart and just go to that person. I, I get the fact that some people are scared, and especially the the person who I pissed me off in high school was hella afraid of me. Um, and ish, even though we are we were friends and everything, but she was like, oh, and, and okay, because of my skin tone and ish, that's why. Um, because my other friend told me, and I was like, oh, okay, that's the reason. And I'm like, no, I ain't gonna do anything to her. I just want to talk to you. Why? And I even told my friend this. I was like, why do I need? What? What is it gonna? Okay, no, no, no. This is how. Why do I need to hit somebody to prove someone? That does nothing. What the heck is that gonna do to me? You know, that's not gonna do anything to me. It's not gonna do anything for me to. Uh, enhance myself in like high school you know eventually going off and doing my own thing that's not gonna do anything for me it's just gonna be like oh the girl who was really too nice to people finally like was done with people's bs and stuff and being stepped on and everything but still it wouldn't have done anything to me but and that's why like i said i just say and even as as of the age that i am now as a 20 something year old woman and being like hey it's better if we just talk that ish out. I don't want to sit here and be like, you cuss me out, I cuss you out. No, because what's the point into that? That's not going to help either one of us in our situations and whatever the heck we're fighting about. I mean, if it goes to that, then yes. But it's about talking to people and everything. I mean, I love the fact that I've just like gone from one thing to another. But yeah, uh, the episode was good. But it just, like I said, with Minami and her situation and having... A tough love critic coach it's fucked up and it just mm. <sighs> this hits home and I hate that I mean this, this, you know what honestly this show is bringing up feelings that I I've like lived and let go but it's bringing it back and I'm like oh my god like do I really want to talk about this shit again like oh we really gotta talk about that even though like I uh, you talk to it with your friends or your family or whatever it <laughs> I can't imagine what the heck is gonna happen in this next episode because whoever the trauma is for the next child I mean please don't let me reconcile or have some memory with it because I, I don't know but I, I just, I feel for her, and I feel for all of these, because it, it seems like it's just girls. Um, maybe by episode four or five, we might get a guy. I'm not 100% sure, but you feel bad for these kids. And the fact that, you know, they're all dead, and that, you know, I and What's-Her-Face are the only ones who are alive, and they're guiding them, and they're helping them. But still, at the same way, they're helping them to help themselves. Because something tells me that, you know, when she finally gets her friend back, it ain't going to be the same person who y'all think it's going to be. I, I feel like this chick might, you know, go AWOL, batshit crazy on her. I don't know. I, I just, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful for I at the end of the day. But... Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode three. Okay, episode three in three, two, one, go. Mm 
and Legos. Oh, is this a sexual abuser? Eh. Fucking child predator. I'm guessing that's your friend. Well, damn. I, 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 okay. Oh, you're taking more today. Hmm. What well, damn, y'all don't even want to do anything for her? I do like her style. I mean, okay, hold up, Rico. What y'all just met and you want her to... Mm, hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. I, you are too nice. But you know what? That's okay. You like me. I'm too nice too. But I'm... Mm -hmm. Unless we really have known each other for a while. You see the kiwi? Oh my god. <laughs> uh -uh. 
just I or in auto. See, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, we be like, look, we gonna keep count. <laughs> So, Rika, um, hmm? oh, so that's fine. Oh, hi. Hmm. I mean, damn, Rika. Don't you know when to go home? But it's true. Okay, then explain your fan. So you just use her from it. This little bitch, I mean. Excuse me, father, I didn't mean to call her a bitch. This child. Really? Wow. Hmm. And then you wonder how you eat so much. I, I still like her though, but she got a mouth on her. Hmm. Reminds me of someone I know.
Not really. Koto was just sweet to her. Yeah, please watch out for her because this chick. Why would you cut yourself, though? That's... And something always also tells me that her mouth got her in trouble a lot. I hope so. Gotta feel bad for her. Honestly, I feel bad all for these kids. So I think, um, um, okay, I'm gonna wait. I don't think so, but it possibly had maybe one of many things to do with it. So Rika's feelings are stronger. Are you serious? Oh, hell, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. But damn, at least she's good at fighting, though.
Oh. A tower? Oh, no, the lighthouse. Yeah, but Rika, you know you're going to have to talk about that. And let me guess, you two did that as well? Uh, and she never did. She killed herself. Shit. Uh. Mm -hmm. Maybe because she didn't know what to say. You probably would have. What the hell? Is that the- What the fuck? I think so, yeah. Definitely BDSM. Excuse me. Oh god. Crabber.
Hold the fuck up. No, no, no you not. Y'all did. Yeah, huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> That's some BS. <laughs> you don't do that. You don't do that. That is. Mm, I don't like cliffhangers. Mm -mm, no. 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 You can't do that. That is some BS. Like, come on, man. Well, y'all better thank God I started this damn show. I, I can't even imagine, like, y'all watching this on Tuesday and then getting to that ending and be like, bro, we really gotta wait until next Tuesday, right? Like, mm, mm, mm. How I felt with Akudama Drive every Thursday. Like, ooh. Okay. So, I still like Rika, even though... I don't like the fact of the way she treated her fan. I mean, oof, God. I, I don't have anything to connect to that right now. I, I mean, you want to treat people the way you want to be treated at the end of the day, no matter what. But, as I said, Rika got a mouth on her. She got a, mm, God. And so that had to get her in trouble countless of times. Something tells me. That, of course, yes, just like with I, Rika blames herself for Chinami's death. So that could possibly be the reason of why she cuts herself. I don't know. Um, there, there's a lot of, there, there's context clues with it and there's some things that you can easily solve. But there are still certain things where you're like, okay, are we eventually going to get something on that? Because something made her do what she did and I'm guessing if we don't get it, by this episode, by week four, okay, this Tuesday, we'll get something on it. She's not a bad person. She just did possibly bad things. No one is a bad person. They just, you know, the things that they do are bad. But, you know, it, it depends on the person and situation of what they've done. I, I do feel for her. How with the fucking BDSM octopus woman? What the, the fuck? Honestly, she gave me... Hella vibes towards, um, okay, so this is gonna go a little spoiler territory in, like, the most current season of, um, Agretzko. Okay, so you know how Agretzko was in that idol group, initially like that, and there, everybody liked the fact that Agretzko was in it, and it made the group better, initially like that, but then there's always that one fan, and, of course, this was one of those fans who didn't like her and that she was bringing he he said that she was bringing the group down and so he hated her so much that he wanted to kill her and if Retzko did die he wouldn't really have given two shits about her because he would have been glad because OTM would have gone back to the way they were with three girls instead of four and a raising a raging panda and such and I think there's some, there's been some situations, like, I remember talking to my mom about this, um, saying that some of the situations about this show is certain things that happen in Japan with the idol industry and such. I've never seen it with, like, entertainment here in America, but, um, that's a whole nother ball, story, <laughs> ball game if we want to talk about that-ish and the secrets that are that are slowly but surely coming to light in the world of Hollywood because I've seen some things like I think what not, not documentaries but they're kind of like documentaries you know like when they do like interviews with um actors or actresses and they ask about their life and then like you know um the time's up movement those types of movements and it's like that where people will say like I was this and this is what happened yada yada this is that and the third and everything that's what it kind of feels like but I think in Japan, it's a whole different situation to what we have here in America. with ish like that. But I hope I is able to get Rika out. I, I mean, because the only way that she can is if she defeats the BDSM octopus lady woman. Um, but it's really crazy that a singer who these two... Uh, fans loved so much she dies 
and they commit suicide. Like, oh God, like that's terrible. And that, oh my, my heart right now for for the three episodes that I freaking watched. Oh my God. The, okay, let's talk about her, like I's friend and the teacher. I, I mm, um, hello. I, I, um, mmm, mmm, can we please talk about that elephant in that room? I mean, yes, he's embracing her. I don't want to assume, want to really assume that there was something going on with these two, but, look, thinking about them context clues and shit, <laughs> and the way how I came in, and you see her friend crying, and teacher embracing, and you're not really supposed to be doing that with children, because, mm, um, makes you want to play, because you know, two plus two is four, so, mm, but it could be anything. We're slowly but surely we're getting there, and I'm guessing maybe between four, five, and six, like the big, big things are gonna come up, and we're gonna see slowly but surely why her friend killed herself. Which, oh God, this is whoa, oh God, this is very. It, it's good, and um, I think it's a good way to spread awareness and uh, about mental illness because like I said in the first episode I know nothing I, I know barely um everything I've had friends talk to me in the past especially with like and, and this happens to everybody like when you are really down in the dumps about something and you need someone to talk to um whether it is a friend a family member a counselor or whatever and have them listen to you it helps a little bit but it doesn't help enough to the point where you do things and then the biggest thing is like well what didn't the parents do why didn't the parents do this why didn't the parents see the signs and it's like that and sometimes it's because the parents the teachers the counselors whatever don't really pay attention to them but with uh i's friend it seems like her teacher is paying attention to her and such plus i is there but as she said, um, blah, blah. her friend didn't talk to her about certain things. So there, there's something that we don't know that I doesn't know either that happened to her to the point where she did commit suicide and such. What that is, don't fucking know. So, yeah. But all three episodes were really good. I, I, I really enjoy this. This is very different. Honestly, and, and I'm not saying like different bad, more of different good. I think the story of it, um, the art style, the characters, everything is really pretty and good and just something that needs to still be more spread because it happens every single day. I mean, currently in our everyday situation of being in the pandemic and there are some people who are who need that like interaction with people who aren't getting that now because we're stuck in the house and here where I live um we're okay to go out and such and but there are some people who are like no I still want to like touch someone I want to give them a hug and you can't do that and there are people who are hella pissed about that and you, you got to feel for them there's nothing that you can really do you can do like a, a fist bump you know an elbow fist bump whatever but no embracing and it just sucks but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction to your episodes one through three of wonder egg priority if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially later on tuesday <laughs> for episode four. Bye guys.